Hey, going back again. Okay, so I wanted to get back on the uh, little thing with the uh, Windows 7 that wasn't booting. And I'm in Fedora, this is Chrome, uh, which is where I have to go to uh, watch my, uh, watch, see, uh, <coughs> watch my um, videos or see my pictures in Google Photos because they don't play nice with Firefox. For some reason it doesn't work. That's one of my, la my last video. It's kind of slow to load for some reason. It's not as good a player as YouTube, that's okay. for sure. And, uh, sometimes it actually, this is Fedora 23, I was using it in uh, older Fedoras, and it would, uh, actually, I probably will still lock up in Firefox, but, uh, it would lock up the web browser, and even, even, uh, the computer. I'm, uh, Closing everything down. I should have done that already. Wasn't thinking about that. Uh, with always look at my system monitor, make sure all my apps are closed down before I shut down the computer. Always just keep that running all the time. <coughs> but uh, hit. Uh, I put that button up there. You can see it at the top. It's a little slow to respond. There it goes. Okay, now I'm going to restart. This little Novo i5 uh, it doesn't have enough video memory. It's only got 256 megabytes. And if you run it, well, I was using Chrome, and Chrome is really a memory, real memory hog. It's not so super bad on the processor, but I've got 4 gig of memory, and I've seen it use like 3.5 gig in climbing. Uh, so uh, you can't watch. 10 minutes of videos on in Chrome and uh, for some reason uh, Houston didn't do that but in the last few years it's gotten worse and worse in uh, in Linux anyway in Fedora Linux uh, well, well it's bad in Windows in fact I've got a, a little Windows 7 system that uh, has 2 gig of RAM you can watch videos in there Chrome in Chrome so uh, I don't know what they're doing with it it's like it has great memory holes in it or something. Okay, so I'm rebooted, and here's my multi-boot screen. Gonna try Windows 7 again. Okay, same thing. It's messed up. Let's just hit fix. I don't think that takes so long. And it didn't fix it before. Why would it fix it this time? So, um, we'll see what happens. I doubt it'll start. It might. It's not acting well. It'll probably go back into that fixed screen, I imagine. Oh, it just rebooted. Okay, so rather than just keep trying that, I'm just going to hard shut down the system. Which I could, oh, I can turn on the light. Let's turn on the light. If I, can, I can't see my buttons with, depending on what's on the screen. Wait. Oh, it's locked. Yeah, I, t I turn on the lock because I keep hitting buttons and turning off the video. So let's just... Wait, I wonder if it'll come on automatically. I don't think so. Okay, now there's my button. We'll just hard shut them down. And... and uh, there, we, there we go. This one does it really quickly. I guess I don't have the four-second delay. So then I'll get my... Uh, I'm going to come back in a minute. I'm going to get my USB stick out. Uh, the one that I want to use, I believe it's the one that I wrote. I uh, can't read it. Anyway, I think I wrote something on it, like multi boot or something. And uh, I'll, that's the one I believe that has that automatic boot fixing. I don't know if I want to do that because I don't want to waste the time. I got other things to do. Yeah, and what if it messes up my. It shouldn't, but. Uh, I think there's something wrong with Windows. I don't think it's the Grub that's broke. It'll fix Grub. It's called the Boot Repair, Boot Repair CD or something. They still call them CD, even though uh, mostly uh, they go on USB sticks now. But uh, I might do that. We'll see. <coughs> okay. Bye.